Love never existed in the West, the Western spirit, certainly since about 1600 BC, I'd say, um, is the spirit of rape, organized rape, and building on scientific theories of how to rape effectively, how to trick people to think it's consensual, to think it's a consensual, and how to get over on people. Uh, think about the Native Americans, uh, the black people during the slave trade, Think about um, the different wars and uh, the Phoenix program in Vietnam and the fraternities and, and all the rapists and the, the huge in, the, the incarcerated population in America, which includes a, a large number of rapists and all the um, rape kits that never have been processed. Love never existed in the West. Alfred North Whitehead. You can't make this up. Whitehead, is his name, said the safest general characterization of the European philosophical tradition is that it consists of a series of footnotes to Plato. Plato, right, who basically was a homosexual pedophile whose philosophy justified it, and when Socrates was executed, he started acting like a, a coward and started to be critical of Socrates, to say things he didn't say when Socrates was there in order to save his own skin and the state eventually accepted his nonsense, and he formed his academy in 385, uh, around then, which is about 14 years after Socrates was found guilty of corrupting the youth. Now, when we look at the timeline, okay, certainly the Spartans who would wrestle people to the ground and rape them as part of hazing, right, part of the long-standing hazing tradition, which includes, but is not limited to, rape and sexually immoral behavior, pulling down people's pants, uh, giving them wedgies, and, and, and things that are have sexual uh, implications and connotations and, and symbolism, okay? So basically, the Spartans, uh, after the Peloponnesian War, uh, backed an oligarchy, uh, oligarchy in Athens, right? It was Athenian uh, pederasty pedophiles, you know? Uh, it was called the 31, uh, excuse me, the 30 Tyrants, okay? It was about four or five years after that that Socrates is found guilty of corrupting the youth, then it goes Plato's Academy, then in 338 BC, Philip II of Macedon defeats um, the, the alliance of Chironia, and in 336, Al Alexander the Great overthrows him. In 335, Aristotle fi founds the Lyceum. So those of you who have done your research, you know it goes Socrates, it goes Plato, Aristotle, and then Alexander the Great as far as the flow of knowledge and students and students of note. And this is part of why Alexander the Great, who dies in Babylon, mind you, I believe in 332 BC, um, it, uh, is so celebrated, okay, not only for his pushing uh, his armies, you know, um, far and wide, okay. So basically, you know, when Plato says the wisest have the most authority, you must understand that witten means to know, wizzy means knowledge, and witta means sage, which goes back to the tree of knowledge and the tree of life. Knowledge has to do with experience, dating, sleeping around, okay? You have knowledge of what it's like to sleep with an unattractive woman, what it's like to be raped, what it's like to make mistakes, statutory rape, uh, to rape somebody perhaps, and different forms of sexual immorality. And this is unforgivable. This is despicable. This is disgusting and evil. Life is, the tree of life truly is focusing on what is really important. What is really important is love. And without justice, there is no love. What is the justification for your love? When you say, I'm in love with this person. Well, well can I, you know, uh, should we have to justify ourselves? I go as far as say, yes, think about it. Certainly to ourselves, at least in our, in our creator. If you say you love a horse, explain to me why. If I was the, the legislator, the lawmaker, why I should make it legal for you to marry your horse? Okay? Why should I make it legal for you to marry little children? Or to have ten wives? Certainly you need a justification based on justice. Okay? True justice, mind you. And that is what allows for love. How do you know it is not sickness? I go as far as to say that what most people consider love, or pretty much everyone considers love these days, except for me, is actually sickness, okay? 
They are in a psychological construct where they're given, given substances and they're bombarded with images and propaganda directly from the pedophile elite through their most loyal uh, servants and sub subordinates. This is not love. Most people are incapable of that emotion. These people live in a society where the top martial artist is being drugged. He's losing weight. He's being made weak and thin. He's not in his true state. He's in a drug-induced state with no one following him. If there was love in that society, where is it? They're outside of the divine order. They miss their mark and they refuse to look inside of themselves and look at their DNA and say, hey, my family started breeding in the wrong direction, got a house in the wrong place, and kept me from the top martial artist. That's why in Egypt there was cult centers. If you were in a member of Sobek's cult, could you make the argument, well, my family grew up closer to here, that's why I'm here? No. To be in the right, you need to find your way to Ra or Horus, okay? You're in the wrong place. Why do you want to be there? Why haven't you sought the kingdom of heaven? You're in the same empire, the same country, the same nation, so to speak, that the people who are doing it right are in. Why haven't you found your way to them? Why are you dating some Sobekian whore? Some Apepian dog? Some temple of set sniveling rapist? What's wrong with you? These are the guys that think it's funny to put a knife to a kid's neck and to force him to rape a female adult, adult female captive. That's how these dogs get their kicks. They hump anything and everything and they want the dogs around them to do the same. Even as a child. I would choose death if I was in my right state of mind and not drugged or something. These are those dogs. They think it's cute. They think it's funny. When Michael Jackson rapes kids, right, we're taught to think it's funny, to make jokes about it. When the pedophile elite in Hollywood is plugging kids left and right, it's supposed to be funny. Pushing the shit of a little child is funny in your culture. No one does a fucking thing. Well, the courts don't do anything about it. What can you do? The fuck do you mean, what can you do? Who died and made them God? That's like living in the Islamic State and saying, what can you do? How far should the, do they have to go before you realize that their law means nothing? Let's move on to sex slavery for citizenship and Western conceptions of manhood. I've explained this story in the other video with the same pictures. Actually, I'm going to just go ahead and use my shirt off in this video. So why, why should I give a fun fuck? Okay? Yeah. I am nowhere near as strong or as handsome as I used to be. Women are fucking scum. And even if I look like the ha most handsome and most... And if I, even if I was flying around like an angel, they would still shun me. Think about it. I've given them more evidence than an angel flying a fucking round would have given them just by his presence. And they still shun me. al Kibayades. It is the complex ideology of Athenian paiderastia that has shaped al Kibayades' own desires. For according to it, love is really two things. Good Uranian love, Uranus, the father of Saturn or Cronus, and of course, it's Uranus because if you insist on good love in Western society, they single you out and rape you in the fucking ass. That's what they do. Think about it. If you're insisting on lust and you're going out of your way to define love as lust, you know, and to pretend that lust and Western consumerism nonsense is love. Oh, I love his money and I love him. It's fucking stupid. right? So who's making you look bad? What do you do to them? Right? This has to do with sexual activity. The logical thing that you would expect for them to do is to find some homosexuals to rape this person and say, know your place, don't tell us what love means. We tell you. While we're plugging kids, we tell you. And we will get you raped in the ass while we do. Think about it. You think the only reason people in prison are, allowed to, are getting raped is because society thinks it's detestable for a rapist uh, to rape, for someone to rape to, have, to be in prison, right? When somebody rapes, they go to prison and they get raped because it is about challenging their reproductive cycle and the overall sexual behavior of society. It is not about morality. These are criminals. 
career criminals that are raping and abusing them. Of course, you can make the argument two wrongs don't make it right and go on and on and on, but I'm pretty sure by now you get it. So there's good Uranian love whose object is the soul and whose aim it is to instill virtue in the younger male and bad pandemotic love whose object is the body and whose aim is sexual pleasure for the older lover. What causes the split is the need pandemonic love has to mask itself as Uranian love in order to preserve the illusion that the young man's participation in it is compatible with his status as a future male citizen. So the idea, this, this is from um, plato.stanford.edu. Um, uh, I'll, I'll put it, damn it, I'll, you know, I'll put it in the thing, um, the name of the article. It's in the other video. Basically, the idea is this person is trying to convince this child that he is turning out. You know, he brings him flowers and chocolates and courts them like men court women, right? Valentine's Day, right? He's trying to, you know, romantic, right? Romance, Valentine, St. Valentine, do the math. Okay, he's trying to convince this guy, that this kid, that he's in love with him. And this is what's going to help him be a man. It's the same thing that happens in Hollywood, if you can't imagine it. Well, how, how do, why do people in Hollywood bend over for some gay person who's connected, right? In some entertainment corporation or whatever. Why does he do it? Right, because he's convinced that this is going to help him's image and his acceptance in society, especially if he's a minority or something, right? You're a no good black guy. You know, let us plug you in the ass and we'll make you someone important type of thing. Okay? And obviously, if they took me out of context, you'd be a fucking dumbass to see this inconsistent with my beliefs. You, could, you shouldn't be able to say, hey, this is out of context. Or, you know, uh, um, he was drugged and under mind control when he said that. Okay? But obviously, you see that I'm right. Okay? It doesn't take a genius to see that. It goes back to what I said many, many times. We can't look to the celebrities to define the top martial artists. We have to look where talent is expected, okay, and ignored. And that, of course, is the Nigerian community. Uh, their intelligence, their physical prowess, okay, then you know, it was like three, four million slaves who were from Nigeria, Ebos especially, they came to America, right? And they give us Michael uh, uh, Jordan, Mike Tyson, uh, Muhammad Ali, okay? So look to where talent is expected and not the, 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 the celebrities. There, there's no way that a celebrity could ever be the top martial artist. I mean, it is, it, there is no, there's no way. It's out of the realm of possibility. Okay? The only way it could ever happen is that the divine order is restored, and that's out of the realm of possibility. Believe me. Okay? These people are hell-bent to elevate beta male bitches and people that bent over for them. Can you imagine a, a great martial artist who's loyal to God willingly bending over for mass murdering pedophiles, for people that drug up everybody? I mean, it's, it's so outrageous. You know, and you see people, the little kids, right? They have their posters and lunchboxes and t-shirts and shit. What the fuck is wrong with them? Okay? Anyway. They go on to say they cannot then be motivated by a reprehensible desire to adopt a passive sla slavish uh, female pleasure-seeking role. Of course, they say, look, the females are pleasure-seeking. They're incapable of love. You cannot find, uh, you cannot reach what you're achieving by taking on the female role. Instead, it must be invented for it a willingness to accept slavery for the sake of virtue. Basically, to invent for him, the kid needs to invent for himself in order to effectively participate in it, a willingness to accept slavery for the sake of virtue. This goes back to sophistry, sophistication, which means worldly, kind of technologically advanced and philosophically advanced, right, in a worldly, more relativist fashion, sophist sophistication sophia the absence of morality basically this is western conceptions of knowledge versus the african martial arts ideas of meeting one's maker with honor from egypt and because they put a special emphasis on saying the egyptians weren't black they're white they're semites and jews and all kinds of nonsense right the foundation of the black african has to be added okay i don't give a flying fuck about race I'm not saying the black people are the children of God, right? They're in defiance as well. Black women are acting like obnoxious, petty, feminist garbage with no heart at all. Okay? I'm no, I, have no, I have no love for anyone in rebellion against God. Bottom line. Heterosexual. Okay? The birth to people that resemble and give birth to the beauty of their Western parents. That's their role in Western society. The homosexual man is pregnant in soul and finds a beautiful boy. Wisdom and the rest of your tree. This, of course, is of course, to the corner of the West Side. Okay? So he, he, he teaches society wisdom and the rest of virtue. He gives an account of virtue that can be used for the proper ordering of cities and households. This goes back to the intellect over superstition. Plato uh, uh, and wrestlers, he was a wrestler, right? It goes back to his inability to 
effectively strike, right? Spirit, spirit. So he chose to be a wrestler instead and to teach you how to choke and rape and so on. Thank you.